So you want to send a keystroke in Touch OSC. Maybe you want to copy paste, you want to send a letter, or a number, or a function. Let's take a look at how to send keystrokes. So sending keystrokes can be a super useful thing, sending hotkeys. Let's say you want to send just the letter M in Reaper to insert a marker, or perhaps you want to do Control plus C or Control plus V to copy and paste, or you could make it more complicated, something like Control shift Z, which if you're using Finale, that would be the uh, undo list or the redo list. Uh, so there's a lot of different programs, so many different programs that don't accept MIDI signals. Uh, so we're better off sending some sort of hotkey. So let's take a look at how to set up hotkeys in Touch OSC and then send those to whatever program you're using. Now, if you're familiar with the original Touch OSC software, you could send keystrokes uh, natively through the software. So way back when you could just go over here to key and you could input your button and then you could designate that to control shift to, and that's what this would send. It's a little bit more complicated in the new upgraded version, but it really isn't too bad. So let's take a look. So we're gonna look at two different ways to do this, one by sending messages and one with scripts. And thankfully, a lot of this is already set up for you. You can head to GitHub, and I'll include this link in the description. And there's a terrific template that's already been made and has all the information with this. So you can download that template and work with it. We're gonna create it from scratch using what has already been implemented in that template, uh, but let's take a look. So as always, let's start in the editor on the computer, make sure that bridge is turned on and your iPad or device is connected. And let's go ahead and open up that file that we just downloaded. This template, keystroke underscore button dot touch OSC. So everything is connected and the bridge is on and we open that up and this is what we see. A little bit of an explanation of how to set all of this up. And one important thing we need to do is make sure that we are connected to the target IP with port 12101. So let's go ahead and take a look at the iPad now and let's close out of this and take a look at our connections. So MIDI, we're gonna go down to OSC, and like it says, we're gonna change send port of 8000. Let's change that to 12101. Done, and that's that, and we can go ahead and connect again. So now that our port has been set up, what we're gonna do first is test these buttons to make sure we're working. So let's go ahead and open up just any text editor. I'm gonna pull up Notepad here. And from the iPad, we should be able to push these buttons and see that response. And it's putting in M when I push the first button and L when I push the second. Now, if you're not getting a response and you're having trouble with this, take a look back at your connections. Make sure they're all set up because before you can go further than this step and create any custom buttons, you need to first make sure you can send these messages. So let's take a look at how these work. We're mainly gonna use this first button here, but what's going on is we're sending an OSC message. As we look down here, you can see it's going slash key and then we're sending the keystroke, and then we close it out. And that's it, it's pretty simple. So let's go ahead and make one. So let's open up an empty document and just put in a button. As always, make that nice and big. And let's go ahead and call this, we're gonna label this, uh, let's make this one just the letter T for Tim. So in our button, let's go ahead and select this and scroll down, let's get rid of any MIDI message because we don't need that. And then here in our OSC message, what we're gonna do, let's delete name, we don't need that. And we're gonna hit this plus sign and add a constant. 
Now you can select this constant, scroll down a little bit, and right here, you're gonna change that to key and hit enter. Next up, we're gonna hit the plus sign and add another constant. And we're gonna move this behind that X, that blue X, and select that constant. And then you're gonna put in shift plus T. And that's gonna send the letter T. But now we need to close this out and you select this X here. And this needs to be one to zero and this isn't a float, it's an integer, all right? And there's no script involved, we're just sending this OSC message. So once you've got this out, let's open up Notepad again, make some space. Now we're gonna touch that button on our iPad, and we got a T. Now what happens if we take this button and we put Shift plus, and we're gonna do a lowercase t? Let's try it now. Push the button, and we also get a capital T. What about if we remove shift and we just put the letter T? We get the lower letter T. So you want to make sure you're using modifiers correctly. So anytime you're using shift plus, you're gonna get that capital, but also things could change if you have your caps lock on. So make sure you check out that, uh, you know, so you're not sending any of the wrong uh, signals or messages to whatever program you're using. And that's a pretty straightforward way to send a letter. What if we want to send something different like copy and paste? Let's go over here to our button and let's, let's make a new one. Let's make this blue. We'll move that down here, add a label. And this is gonna be copy. And then let's copy these, move these over. And this is gonna be paste. I'm sure you can see what I'm doing now. So we're gonna go into our buttons and instead of just shift plus the letter or just the letter, we're gonna add a modifier. And this is all outlined in this explanation here. But let's go back to our little template here and our box. Let's remove this MIDI message. Turn that off. Get rid of name plus constant. And let's do key. Down here, add another constant. And we're gonna do control, and that needs to be all capital, plus C. Enter. And then let's take this, one zero, and then integer. And let's go to our green button here, and we can get rid of our MIDI message, we don't need that. And here on our OSC message, let's remove that, add a constant, and we'll call that key, same as we did before. Add another constant, move it early, call this control plus V. And then let's close this out. One, zero, integer. We're done. All right, let's go to our notepad here and let's type a message. Happy December. And I'll add an, a space there. Okay, so let's select this with your mouse and we're gonna hit that blue button, that copy button. Let's move down and then let's use the green paste button. We could just paste over and over and over. So that's how we can do a button sending a keystroke or a keystroke with a modifier. And it's the same if you wanted to add control shift C or let's say uh, control alt shift D, whatever it is that you wanna do. There is an order, however, to how you wanna do those. And that would be control and then alt and then shift and then command and then your letter or number. So that is also laid out in that template that you just downloaded. So you could look at that again there. And this will work with any of your keys, up, down, function keys, numbers. 
So this opens a lot of different ways that you can use TouchOSC with really any software out there that doesn't accept MIDI messages. So now let's take a look at the second way to send keystrokes. So back in this template, we can do this with the script. So if you click on the button, you can scroll down here and see this script. Let's open this up and let's close everything else so we can see this. And this is that script. So let's go ahead and try this and I'll show you how it works. So let's copy this and move back to our own template. Make a new button. Go ahead and make this one yellow. And then down here in the script, let's go ahead and add our function, our script. And we can close out these messages because we do not need MIDI or OSC messages. So this button, when we push it down, it's going to send sh the value of Shift plus L. And then once it goes up, it will release Shift plus L. So let's try this out. Let's open our notepad here, go down, and then let's push our button. And we got Shift plus L. So to change that, here in the script, let's go ahead and change this to Shift plus F. And then release Shift plus F. Let's try that. And there we go. So the script is also a really simple way for you to send different characters. But let's go one additional step further and say you want to send a whole word. Why would you do this? I don't know. But let's say you want to send five letters in a row. Let's try that out. But I find that easier to do with the messages instead of the script. So to do that, let's go back into the editor and let's take this red button here scroll down and we're going to change this. So this first message we have, let's change that to the word M or the letter M, sorry. And then let's add another OSC message. And then we will get rid of this, add a constant, the same process that we were doing before to add a keystroke. Type in your next letter and then close that out. And then we'll repeat that step. Now we've added five different messages and they will go in order from top to bottom. So let's open up our notepad here, move down, hit that red button, and we have the word music. And that was all sent through the OSC messages here in order of what was written out. Now I don't know why you would have a button to send a word, but you certainly could if you want to. Uh, and that's just nice to know about. So setting up keystrokes and sending those through TouchOSC, it's not as simple as it was in the original version of TouchOSC, uh, but it's not too bad to do it this way, sending the messages or through the script. So hopefully this helps with your template. For instance, if you're in Reaper, you no longer have to set up a MIDI signal to place a marker. You could just do M, which is great. Or, you know, a lot of programs control R is record. So you could go that route in setting up any you know, commands from TouchOSC to your DAW or whatever software you're using. So thanks again to the team that put this script together uh, and made it available on the GitHub. Be sure to check out some of those other terrific scripts. Uh, there's a lot of other things that people are making. You can see those. Uh, a lot of people showcase that on the Facebook group or the Discord. So check those things out. So hopefully this helps your template and whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. Uh, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. There's lots more to see in TouchOSC. So, uh, you know, stay warm out there, everybody, and uh, take care.